Alright, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to make a New York or UK drill type beat for all you raw mans out there. Because it's Wednesday, and you know what the fuck goes down on Wednesday. It's Will Back Motherfucking Wednesday. You already know that listening to drill music is the quickest way of getting turned up So I'm gonna teach you how to make beats like that And I'm gonna teach you how to make them fast But before we begin, I know most of you plebs are not even subscribed to this channel Which like, what's you're wrong with you? If you're trying to get some advice on how to make some dope ass music And you're trying to listen to some dope ass music <clears throat> Must be the flu. Nah, but for real though, I mean, if you're into those Asian inspired beats like Gunners, who you fooling? And of course, some big woo shit like UK drill, man's not hot. <laughs> Make sure to listen to this song because I mean, it's not even that bad. I did it with one of my boys. I think you guys would enjoy it. But anyway, let's get started with this video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on your drums and you're going to want 808 Flex. To me, that's like the least uh, cheap sounding drum here on uh, Garage, man. So the next thing you're going to do, you're going to go in between, you know, 140, 150. That's usually the, the, the BPM used. And instead of using hats, what I recommend is using shakers. I find that more drill music uses that now. I mean, you can still use hats, but I think that it sounds a lot more uh, unique to drill. And I just think it sounds better in, in this circuit. So the next thing you're going to do, obviously, is if it doesn't sound perfect on your first take, you can either quantize it or you, you can click the edit, which we'll do now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and work on our kick and snare. I mean, if you know drill music, you know this is basically the rhythm used in pretty much every song. If you don't like how it sounds the first time, you can go on edit and you can really just mess around with it. I'm, I'm gonna speed it up right now, but like, you can see like, I'm just messing with it, seeing what works the most. Cause sometimes obviously on your first recording take, uh, the latency might not work and you'll, you'll do it a little slower or faster or whatever, so. It's sounding pretty good right now. And this is only the rhythm, like drill for drill and for most hip hop, I mean, rhythm is basically 80% of it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add like tiny little features to the rhythm. Like not obviously the big thing, like the snare or the hats or whatever. But it's just things to give it a bit more character and make the rhythm even groovier. So like over here, I'm gonna add this now, like, just gives it a big low note, a nice one. Obviously, this is like really optional. If you just wanna have like the basic rhythm, that's really up to you. But I think if you wanna give character to the beat, I think just adding the small little details like that really count. And it's kind of like ear candy to the listener. And we're gonna add that one more thing. We're gonna add the rim shot because rim shots are one of my favorite parts of any hip hop beat. Yeah, so. Sounding pretty clean, sounding nice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pan it on different channels, like either on your left or your right side. Just to give it that like, nice bit of character because having it all in the middle might make it mushy and shit like that. So in my opinion, having like what's important right in the center and just having this, the, the extra little things on the left and right really give it character. So now we're going to do the melody, right? And what I was thinking, I was thinking about doing something similar to this, like a... I'm gonna go on a minor key, just like a minor scale, just to focus on exclusively like. That's one of my favorite things about Garage Man, in my opinion. So I'll be like the sort of the, the bass melody. Not the bass bass, but like the bass melody. Now we're gonna add like a counter melody to it. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure you guys can do something much more creative. I'm really just rushing it just to give you guys an example of what you can do, like the bare minimum. So again, you know, go on the edits and just 
fix it if there's something you don't like. I mean, if you want to make the piano sound more realistic, I'm not doing it right now, but like, if you want to make it sound more realistic, you can play with the velocity, which basically is like how hard you hit the piano note, you know, and like varying it makes it much more realistic. Yeah. You know what? I have a better idea actually. Hold up. So this is the melody, like isolated. I'm gonna play a bit with the reverb on like the on the counter melody. Give it a bit more ambience and shit. But I have a better idea. So what I'm finna do is, so I'm gonna do is that bass melody that we have. I'm gonna reverse it. Put that there and put that there. And this is like a lot of like pop smoke music it does that with the beats. So I'm gonna do that. I'm going to just click this. Mer I'm gonna click merge. All right, just so, cause I have it, <laughs> have it in Spanish. So I'm gonna go on merge and then I'm gonna go on options and invert. And it gives it this nice reverse effect. You see, it sounds so much better than in like a not reverse. Saying like it sounds nice. But finally, the most important part of any bass is the bass, baby. So we're actually gonna go on drums. We're still gonna go on 808 flex. Um, and there's a specific drum that we have to record on 808 flex. And we're gonna do something similar to what we did with the reverse piano, where we're gonna merge it. So we're gonna click that first. Just record that real quick. And you can see it sounds sort of like an 808. So what we're, what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna go over there and we're gonna click merge. Just merge it by itself with nothing else. And after that, what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and we're gonna go on the sampler, leave it right there and put the that audio into the sampler. And now we have basically control over how it sounds. There's an option over here you can do where you can slide the note. And this is what we're gonna be doing. You can also do it on like the, the slider on the top left, but I'm gonna do it like this. Cause like if you listen to any pop smoke music, you know that like one of the best parts is this, like that. Is the sliding eight away. Obviously, it doesn't have the same, you know, hitting. Um, I, I'm pretty sure you guys can find like, for instance, you could distort it a little bit, give it a bit more presence, EQ it as well, which I'll do in a second. It's a little too much. what happens when you do like a free uh... yeah so just eq it a little bit and really just eq everything as a matter of fact because eqing is probably one of the most important parts basically when you eq you basically focus uh, on heightening different frequencies on certain things so for instance a hat would obviously you'd want to make the the higher frequencies a little louder um and while doing that and lowering the lower frequencies a bit you give room to breathe for the other instruments which which basically makes your thing sound sound much more professional finally this is basically the, the result got a bit of help from some people to rap over it uh, i think you might know who these guys are i'm not too sure but baby welcome to the party bitch i'm a thug give me lit got no money one in the head in the clip baby baby don't trip just lower your tone Baby, welcome to the party. Sex. I got the X, the streams, the acid. Just you can see, I'm a savage. Don't try this at home, I'm a savage. Baby, welcome to the party. Sex. She pulled up in the bench. She came with a friend. I told her, meet my. So I mean, that's basically it. Obviously, it's not as high quality 
um, you know, as a pop smoke or a Skepta beat, but you gotta keep in mind, first of all, I was sort of rushing it to give you a, a basic idea of what you can do with GarageBand, but you also have to keep in mind, GarageBand, especially like on the iPad or the phone, is a free software, so, so obviously it's not gonna be uh, giving you high production details as like an Ableton or an FL Studio. But I mean, that's basically it. You can basically do anything like that um, on GarageBand. You can obviously, with a better melody, make something that sounds even nicer. But that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and make sure to check out uh, my song that I was mentioning in the beginning, Bad Wolf, featuring Young Neto. Uh, it's on all platforms, so make sure to check that out. Link in description, link really everywhere. So, uh, this was Ovar Rubio, and peace. Shit, I'm so fishy, but lost to the streets. I break her heart, she get famous for tweets. Shit, I'm a fish, I need to get a seat. Dance on Mugly, she's stuck in a beam on me. Huh? You fucking, you know what I mean. You might get paid for a fee. You might get paid for my beats. You a nigga. I got my money, you get it for money. I buddy, you funny, you a pro, nigga. She broke her heart, cause she fucking with me. I call